I am very excited about this, if you can't tell. So I'm a big Jaws fan. I've always been looking for a replica of Quint's fishing boat, the Orca. And yeah, there's some floating around. They're kind of expensive and they're like, okay, they're kind of neat. They're not really to scale, blah, blah, blah. And I told myself if I ever got one, I'd probably just make one. So I found this. So this is a rescue boat made by Ravel. And as you can tell, it's pretty close. Like there's, the cabin is kind of correct. This might need to come forward. Like there's certain things that need to be altered. But for the most part, I think I can take these bones and make them into the orca. So you can kind of see how it looks. I think if I were to move a few things around, add a few things, customize it, obviously paint it the way I want it, I think I could turn this into a fishing boat very similar to the Orca. So the Orca project, day one. Dallas eyes. So, I kind of see where my head was at. Let's see if I, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be far from perfect. But, let's see what I can do. Possibly move some parts this way. I don't know. This isn't going to be easy. This might be harder than I thought. I can do this. We'll get this done.
All right, quick update. I've been using this um, Loctite super glue. It does not dry quickly, and I think I meant to grab the quick drying, but that's kind of what it looks like. I think I could still, I guess I should show you. So there you go, so that's kind of how it'll look. It's kind of cool, like I, I can see, as I'm building it, I can kind of see it like a fishing boat kind of coming out of it. Um, so, it is obviously not as close to the orca as I thought it was. And maybe I'll still like play around with it, but this is what I'm thinking. So I'm opposed to just completely throwing out the idea of it being the Orca. I think what I'm going to do is make it like the Orca 2. It's still going to be the Orca. It's just not going to be the Orca from Jaws. It'll be uh, the Orca 2. At this point, I'm kind of already halfway through, so I might as well finish it. So I'll keep working on it and see where it takes me. I am. I did decide just because I didn't know how I how I was gonna make this. If I was gonna cut anything off or whatever else, I did decide just to put it all together as a full piece. Obviously, if I knew kind of preemptively how I was gonna paint it, then I would have painted it before putting it together. But uh, that's gonna have to wait. So. That'll work. That didn't work. They must be so small. I, I don't know if I'm, they're missing or I lose them. They're so tiny. And the pieces I can't find, I don't think came with the packaging in the first place. Goose from a goose blah blah. So I'm making this little platform for the front of it. So I got some wire, I got some rope. So I'm gonna kind of make what I can from this rope here. 
and some other little random little things. Um, there is some little features I'm probably just going to make out of clay. I have this guy. It's a little dowel rod. Oh, it's perfect, straight, it's thin. So this will go here somewhere. I have some random Legos that I kind of organize that are extras. And I was trying to find something that would work as the barrels. I found a bunch of these. It's kind of hard to... And I think if I do this right, I can probably make these work. I was going to spray paint them or paint them yellow. Um, and then kind of age them a little bit. Okay, it's slowly coming along and I'm adding little bits and pieces to make it at least look accurate-ish. I'm sure a, an actual person who knows anything about boats would probably think this is a ridiculous boat, but um, you know, with it looking the way it is, I think it looks kind of fun. So I got little parts and bits that I need to paint before they go on. Otherwise, I think the overall bones um, and kind of the initial exterior look of it is for the most part done. I need to paint the inside before I glue the, the top on. And then, uh, then I'll prime the entire thing and then I can start painting it. 
And that goes for all the parts too. So the very last thing that I'll do is I'll put some string up around different parts and bits to make it more accurately, obviously, reflect the boat. So I did end up taking a few pieces off on the, uh, the roof or the top of this boat. And then I put that little standing platform. I know it kind of looks probably a little ridiculous, but I really wanted that platform on there. I didn't go too crazy in detail on the climbing, but I put a few little random things. It'll look a lot better, obviously, once they're primed and colored. So I'll go and paint the inside next and get that started.
All right, so I'm obviously started painting everything. I think it's about time I start painting this guy. So I'm gonna start with a base color and that base color is gonna be this white, um, this tan white color. So I'll go and put that on first and then I'll go back in with details with this rust and kind of go from there. I have all my color examples And pretty much throughout, I'll go ahead and add detail, kind of where it comes in. Calm down, Italy, 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 Italy. They did their best, shoddily, Italy, Italy, Italy. Oh, hell, Italy, ding dong, crap! Can't you morons do anything right?
it's only appropriate that I show you some of my Jaws stuff. I got Quint. The beer can. Y'all know me, know how I earn a living. I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. It's bad fish. It's not like going down the pond and chasing bluegills or tommy cards. This shark, swallow you whole. Uh... It came out kind of cool. It's kind of neat because it looks almost antique -y. Maybe it's the kind of thing you'd find in like an antique store. I think overall I I did a shoddy job to be quite honest, but I'm not unhappy with it, I guess is a good way of putting it. It was kind of an experiment and I don't think it necessarily was a failure. I think it worked okay. If I had an airbrush the paint job would have been better, for sure. And if I had a, a real fishing boat. <laughs> so, anyways. And we gotta do it quick. I don't bring back the tourists and put all your businesses on a paying basis. But it's not gonna be pleasant. I value my neck a lot more than 3,000 bucks, Chief. I'll find him for three, but I'll catch him and kill him for 10. You gotta make up your minds. You wanna stay alive and ante up? You wanna play it cheap? Be on welfare the whole winter. I don't want no volunteers. I don't want no mates. There's too many captains on this island. $10,000 for me by myself. For that you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Thank you very much, Mr. Quint. We'll, uh, we'll take it under advisement. Mayor, Chief, 